When using big O notation to analyze programs, we are considering the runtime of an algorithm to be a function of the size of the input. However, other aspects of the input besides the size can affect the runtime. Consider the contains method here, which determines whether a given array contains a given value. If we were to use the following array and check for the value 5, then the code will loop through the whole array, checking each value, eventually reach the end of the loop, and then return false. In this case, the runtime is O of N. This is the longest this code could ever take, and because it is taking a long time, this is considered the worst case. But now, consider what happens if we are searching for the value 1. We would enter the for loop, check the first value at index 0, find the match, and then return true, immediately exiting the loop and the method. In this case, the runtime of the method is O of 1. Because this is as fast as the code can execute, this is considered the best case. Note these names make no judgment as to whether we actually wanted to find a value or didn't want to find a value. We're not considering whether or not it's good to have found a value. We're simply saying that fast is better than slow. So best case is the fastest case and worst case is the slowest case. But the important takeaway here is that the array had the same size. And we're considering the length of the array to be our n. So n, the length of the array, is the size of the input. But sometimes we search through the whole thing, and sometimes we only check the first value. Then there are a whole range of possibilities that stop at points in between. If we search for 4, we'll check 2 values. If we search for 9, we'll check 3 values. If we search for 8, we'll go to this point, and then there are many, many values that we could search for that are not present and therefore require us to search the whole array. This leads us to the final case, which is the average case. Figuring out the average case is tricky and depends on considering all possible inputs to the program. So in this particular example, because there are so many possible inputs to the program, that will require us to search the entire array. And considering the fact that even if we find a value, for example, 9 or 2 inside the array, we still have to check at least half of it. This means that the average case is still O of N. Therefore, in this particular example, the average case happens to equal the worst case. But that is not necessarily true. It really does depend on the specific code you're looking at. Let's consider a somewhat contrived example. Here we have a method that has a case for when value is equal to 27 and a case for everything else. So in our example, we're sending in a value of 1. In this case, the code would simply print out the string done, which we are treating like an individual statement, and then it would be finished. So in this case, we have a runtime of O of 1, which is our best case. However, what if val is equal to 27? Well, if value is equal to 27, then we call a method arrays.toString on the array. Now, this is a method that converts the entire contents of the array to a string, and that is then being printed by the println method. So the arrays.toString method runs in O of n time with respect to the size of the array input. So in the worst case, we have a runtime of O of n. Note that analyzing this method also depended on the fact that you needed to know what the runtime of a method being called was. Just because something looks like a single statement in your code doesn't mean that it runs in O of 1 time. But now we get to the average case. And clearly here, most cases will not run in O of n time. 
There is only one case when value equals 27 where we have to loop through the entire array to convert its contents to a string. In all other cases, we simply print out a single short string. So in this example, the average is O of 1. That one case where we execute O of n times is still part of this average, but the impact of that is washed out by the many, many cases that execute in constant time. 